Tiger U Kids, crafts, history, and your questions. I'm Jill, and today we're making an old-fashioned printer's hat to celebrate America's First Amendment. What? Oh, we've got a question. What in the world is the First Amendment? Ah, oh, you're right. I guess I should explain what our First Amendment is before we start. The First Amendment is a very important part of our United States Constitution, which is the supreme law of our country. The First Amendment lists five rights that American citizens have. They are the right to choose and practice a religion, the right to speak your mind, the right for press, like newspapers, TV, and the internet, to report on the news and talk about opinions without getting permission from the government, the right to organize with other people, and the right to give the government ideas about how our country can improve the way it runs. To make it easier, we often call these five rights freedom of speech. When our founding fathers started creating our United States Constitution in 1787, James Madison made sure that Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech or of the press. He personally wrote the First Amendment himself, and we still honor it today. Does that help? Okay, here's what you'll need for our printer's hat. A full-sized newspaper, and that's it. So what does a hat folded out of newspaper have to do with our First Amendment? Well, remember how I mentioned that our press can report on the news and share ideas without getting permission from the government? Printed pamphlets and newspapers were the very first kind of press that shared ideas with large groups of people at one time. And this helped America become a country. Ready to get started? Okay, this is fun, you're gonna love it. What you're gonna do is take your newspaper and make sure that you have the open end at the bottom. Make sure it's creased. You're going to fold the corners down on each side to make a right angle. Then you take this first little flap and fold it up. Once you crease this bottom part, you're gonna take the whole newspaper, flip it over, and fold this part in on each side so that it comes a little bit more than halfway across the middle and crease that. The ink is already happening. You see, the first kinds of printing presses that made newspapers were really messy, with ink getting on everything and flying everywhere from out of the machines. So the people who worked at the printing presses in the 18 and 1900s used to make these kinds of hats on site to wear so that they could protect their heads and hair from getting inky and greasy from all the printing machines. Next, we're gonna take these bottom parts and fold another little right triangle on each side. And then take the whole thing and fold it up. Increase it again. Last part, we're almost done. You're gonna take this front piece here, fold it down, crease it, and then take the edges and tuck it in to the crease, kind of like an envelope. Ink check. <laughs> take the hat, open it up. My head's too big. Ta-da! <laughs> That's it! just like the old-fashioned printer days. One of America's greatest gifts is freedom of speech. We can talk freely about any ideas we want without being worried that our government will tell us we can't. And most other countries are not like this. We are so lucky and so thankful. Because of freedom of speech, amazing things can happen. In America's history, freedom of speech helped abolish slavery, gave women the right to vote, and it continues to make our lives better by creating computers and inventions to help everyone, all because America allows us to talk about ideas freely, which leads to change in the world. 
We hope you had fun. If you've got questions or ideas for our next craftery, send them our way. Keep crafting, keep learning, keep speaking up, and keep celebrating Land of the Free and Home of the Brave. Bye, guys. I'm loving this. Everybody want one? Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.